know who the fuck to trust Is it my friend or my foe? I'm a fuck exit, bro Yeah, she give me that game as well I remember back when I was younger, I was happy Now they feel like no one understand me I'm good at all this, silly, I'm Bobby, Bambi Baby's yellow, text She wanna eat me like candy Run up the racks, track me I run up the racks like an athlete Big facts, you're at the dick, six flags Ballin' like, dick flags, told her I love her I ain't really mean that, yeah Well everyone, we're very excited today for episode 10. Not only do we have a mate, but we have quite a good mate of both Coles and mine. Travis Marning, champion swimmer, champion bloke. And we're here to have a good chat, mate. How you been? Yeah, good. Yeah, just, uh, how's yeah. 2021 going? 2021 has been interesting for me. Um, ups and downs for sure. I've had um, a bit of a medical problem I've been dealing with since January. Ooh. I've uh, got a blood clot in my leg. Have you? I didn't yeah. know that. There's a deep vein thrombosis, so wow. um, that's been giving me some issues since January, but it's um, been good, it's challenging, but um, you know, I'm still enjoying myself. So training hard, what, training as hard as I can. And What yeah. is it? Uh, how is it limited to you, mate? Is it... it essentially just restricts the blood flow through my leg. But, um, has it affected your training or your... Yeah, it really? affects my training a fair bit. Oh, um, Digging bolognese over Lunchtime. I love that. Another little lads treat. Spag bowl. So it started, in, it started in January, didn't it? When we were racing the state championships. Yeah, so... So you've never had any issue before. It's just kind of come on. I, I, I've got a family history of blood clots. Right. And I've got a clotting factor. Jeez, man, I didn't but, know all this. But this, um, having that factor doesn't cause the clot, so... Um, yeah, my leg sort of just blew up one day racing, it was really swollen and then got really painful. Went and got some scans and yeah, ended up being a blood clot like 14 centimetres above my knee. Wow. It's about halfway down my calf. Um, Jeez, that's massive. Yeah, 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 it's pretty big. So I've just been on um, blood thinners since January, wow. lots of um, tests with Lots of different specialists trying to figure out why it happened, but um, haven't been able to figure out why. Just sort of got unlucky, and but you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, it's not going to stop me from giving my absolute best to prepare for, for, for this year. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing with the blood clot that I didn't know, because initially it was like, I didn't know what a blood clot was, especially when you got it. If, you, if a blood clot dislodges, it ends up in a, in your brain or your lungs. It can you kill can, you. Yeah, it can kill you. Yeah. So, absolutely. Pretty extreme. Wow. Yeah, it can be quite dangerous if you don't get onto it uh -huh. um, early. Mm. Jeez, man, I hope that all goes all right. So, and tra training's been certainly up and down. Um, recently, it's been a lot better. I'm starting to get some more training blocks in. But... I think it's good to have the support around. Everyone's been really helpful and mm. fish and having them, my training partners with me has been made a lot better. And um, yeah, well, it's been challenging. I'm still enjoying myself. I'm in my last three subjects of uni, so I'll graduate middle of the year. Okay, so that's the question we wanted to ask, isn't that it? That was a fan question. So, from Joel, the cameraman, asked a question. So, you, you train six days a week. And you're doing all that on the side. So how do you find time for all this? You've got to be organised. I think um, I'm studying online, so there's only one or two times a week where I've got to set aside an actual time. Um, to, uh, this semester is Tuesdays, um, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. is one of my online tutorials. Thursday, 5.30 to 6.30 is another one, wow. which works perfectly with training because we don't have training Tuesday and Thursday. Um, right. evenings. One of the others is during training, but they structure it well because online uni is for people who are, might, might be working full time or international mm -hmm. students or um, I can just watch the recap, submit my questions and then it's all good. So it's really just being proactive and making sure you get the, the work done. No one's going to you know, like anyone who's done uni, you know, they don't, if you don't do it, they don't care. They're not going to chase you up and right. say, look, you haven't done all this work. So I think it takes a bit of discipline to stay on top of it. Um, so yeah, apart from training, that's pretty much my, it's a good outlet to, when I leave the pool, I know I've got something else I can focus on. 
And what is the plan post um, post pool? Because that's kind of you're getting towards the end slowly of your career of swimming. Yeah? Well, yeah, so, um, I'm over, over thirty now, so over 30. pretty old, <laughs> pretty old for pretty old for a swimmer. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm studying a bachelor of marketing, and mm -hmm. um, so my plan is to get a job within that field. I'd like to get within the tech industry or the sport industry, something that um, I have a passion about. So, right, um, I think that's quite important to make sure you enjoy your job, and um, it's something that you have drive to do. Um, but yeah, that sort of plans more for 2022. Okay, I'm going to swim through the, the rest of the year. Hopefully, do ISL towards the end of this year. Um, Olympics and that's this year. Olympics, yeah, and that's then plan. yeah. And then I sells off the back of that towards the end of the year. So mm. I think I always have my eye on doing something like that to maybe finish on. Oh, right. Um, because it is something so fun. And um, I think it'd be a good way to finish. Okay. Um, but you, you, know, you never know. I might get to the end and be so swimming. You might have a great swim and then you yeah, might kick on. That's it. Happens. It's only another, from the end of December when I sell is, it's only another three months to Com Games trial. Yeah, so, right. so it's like, well, who who knows? Swim for another three months. So I, I'm not going to say I'm definitely going to finish at the end of this year. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's an option, but I'll decide um, whenever that is. Well, but that's great news for me. <laughs> if you continue on. So, well, let's talk about ISL then, because that's probably one of your career highlights. So I'm not necessarily national swimming league. Swimming league. Not necessarily a career highlight, but more so a career fun point what would you say i thought it was a highlight it was highlight? it was one of the most enjoyable swimming competitions i've done right yeah. and how often this one so they do it every year every 2019 year. was the first year it was ever done oh okay 2020 was last year in hungary in, in a uh, in a hub and i think it was two australia only two australians went i think it was just too risky oh right um, international travel and the pandemic but not being able to get home and mm. the risk of getting coronavirus i think was far too much for uh, for any um, any of us to decide to go to. So, missed last year, but the plan is to, to go this year. And so it's like a, it's the easiest way to explain it is it's like, it's like the big bash or IPL for swimming. Um, you don't compete right. for your country, you compete for a team. Oh, so, okay. Um, Kyle swam on the London Raw, I swam for the uh, Aqua Centurions, so it's a team based out of Italy. Centurions, I've heard that name come up a few times. In the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was, really, it was really cool. I only signed up two weeks before the competition, so it was sort of all really quick and like, all right, it looks like I'm going to um, America and Europe in two weeks' time and went over and raced some, like did PBs in a lot of my events, really enjoyed um, the team. They were really... Bit, bit, they weren't the best team, well, we came last, oh. but we certainly had the most fun. I think we were the most fun team That's to what it's all about. Yeah, and yeah. that was um, a really good experience. No one for you, King? Huh? No, no one for me. I, I think Trav said no one either, did he? Did he change? No. Nah. Oh, you did? Yeah, I thought it was Kunawara. I thought oh, I'll have a little, have a little try, a little taste. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> well, on career highlights then, what would be the career highlight? Obviously, you've been to Olympic Games. I was telling lads before, Olympic Games made the final, which was an unbelievable achievement. World record. Um, yeah, the world record in the relays, obviously, something that um, everyone strives for in sport. It's something that one day I'd love to achieve, but you've done it, which is really cool. Um, so that's a team world record in the mm. relay? They don't just do them? I was in a relay, yeah. So the story is we were at Tokyo, no, Singapore World Cups one year, and the new it was a new event. So I don't know how good of a world record it is. It it's is a world, world record. record. Well, well, you, got to, you take that to the grave. It's still there. It's still yeah. a record, mate. I've got the big certificate in a frame at home. So um, yeah, it was four by fifty mixed relay. So two two guys, two girls. Oh right. And it was we're in Singapore. I didn't actually know they did mix the uh, races. Yeah, yeah that was an, it was a new event. It, it sort of had just begun. And so it was Kate Campbell, Bronte Campbell, like pretty much the two best female <laughs> sprinters um, at the time. And then Tommaso De Sonia. And then there was a sort of an open third, fourth spot that um, my training partner, Ash Delaney, was actually meant to swim in. He got sick in Singapore, didn't swim in it. That relay ended up, I think, getting scratched or I'm not, I can't remember what happened to that relay, but um, I was the next quickest. 
at the Singapore meet because we had multiple teams entered for Australia. So in Tokyo, I got the call up to be in the in the A team, and we broke the world record. Which so is hang on, cool. that's four different events, is it? The relay. Like, that's just four four fifties of freestyle. So four okay. by fifty freestyle. Did you not say they were running, so I'm no. No. <laughs> no. no, I said sprinters. I said sprinters. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sprinters. Um, um, yeah, so we broke the world record. It was actually it was it was a very cool thing to be a part of. I definitely think back onto my highlight would be um, the Olympic final mm-hmm. and making the Olympics. I so think that was the last one. Yeah, yeah, Rio 2016. So I think you know, what many an kids, experience though. Yeah, many kids grow up and mm. watch the Olympics as a child and think you know that's what I want to do that's a a dream and like that was my dream when I was 10 years old Sydney was on and I said I wanted to be an Olympian and go to the Olympics when I was that age watching the Olympics and I've been able to do it and that's Mm. like something really cool and um, I think the special thing about the Olympics is um, you can only get there through hard work and dedication you can't you can't buy your way there you know, you could can't be, cheat your way in. No, you could be the richest man in the world and not have it had to the had not been able to have the experience that I've had. Uh-huh. Um, I think that makes it a bit, a bit more special. Once I qualified, I think sitting down with my old coach Ron Taylor, who's now the head coach, we decided. Well, we made the goal. I wanted to make the I wanted to make the final. That was my goal. So we you achieved it. Yeah. Achieved it. Well sat done. down, made one technical change for my breaststroke. I did a 1.8 second PB in the heat and made the final and like um, it's funny people find out you go to the Olympics and they go oh like did you win a medal yeah at the swimming and it's like oh like, no I didn't win a medal but Doesn't I matter. achieved like, yeah. you what won I, your medal I won my medal yeah was making the final I think there's certainly some people who may have won a medal that was a disappointment that would be less satisfied way le- way less satisfied than I was right. with how I swam at the Olympics. Yeah, you were pumped. I remember it was like day one, heat, heats one. I think you were the first event, really, mm-hmm. weren't you? And I remember I being there just doing second, second race. There was a there was a heat before me with four people in it, and then me, and then you second race the whole Olympics. Yeah, right. And Trav qualified for the final, and That's it just right. went off. Everyone was like, "How good is this?" That's the best. Yeah. So I was going in ranked seventeenth, not in the not in the seated heats, and did a huge PB, and then qualified seventh into the final, and it was like. Wow. Unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Yeah. And then that, the first night was huge. I didn't, because I obviously had my final, I was rooming with Jake Packard, a breaststroker. He made the semi final as well. And Mac won the 400, beat Sun Yang after all the big, big hype and build up when they had all that beef going on. And yeah, I reckon we got, really got to sleep maybe 5 a.m. Mm. Um, wow. And the, I, the girls won the And the girls won the relay. It was huge. Yeah, it was a huge day. Yeah. yeah. Um, incredible start. I see on your on, on Snapchat that you two you often bunk together and you have to stay together in a state and overseas. What's uh, he's got to have some stories of of being annoying or like his traits or habits. Kyle. Yeah. Because oh. you two spent a lot of time together. I don't know. I think that's why we always room together because we get along so well. Right. Um, so you don't bug each other. And we've learned to live with each other, like we spend so much time together. Yeah. Just like, you must be like family, you two. Yeah. Like brothers. Yeah. Like, I spend more time with Trav than I do with yeah. your brother. It's um... Because you go away a lot and you're yeah. you know, you always staying together. And like, I fall asleep very quickly. And then, but Kyle just puts the... <laughs> he, he, Kyle's, a, Kyle's a, an interesting sleeper. Right. He, he goes, the ear plugs in, this is what we want. the eye mask on. Yeah. And then that's how he sleeps. So it's, sometimes I might snore. If I roll onto my back, I'll snore. But like the good thing is, he's got the earplugs and the thing on. He doesn't hear me. I don't he doesn't know if disturb. I sleep with all that on me. He loves it. Yeah. And the, the best thing is, going, he's going to the toilet in the middle of the night. He's crashing around. Like yeah. he's, he's still got the eye mask on and the earplugs and go to the toilet. <laughs> Gets into the bathroom. That's probably not the outfall for pissing. He he pisses a lot of blood. O- overnight. Really? Like yeah, high three to four to times a night. Yeah. Do you drink a lot of water or something? If you've had, a, if you had yeah. a, a bad night, might be three to four Absolutely. pisses in a night. Okay. And, and just then, hope for the best. The aiming's the not the greatest either, oh, so no. the toilet the next <laughs> morning might be a bit... So speaking of toilets... A bit of dripplage all over the place. So but... Speaking of toilets, I heard um, <laughs> there's a bit of a story about a... <laughs> a drug test. <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't know where you were going with that. There's, there's a lot of stories. There's a few, story there's a few it, stories. Yeah. Well, um, you know, well, the, the drug testing. Right? Yeah, this happened back at, when I was trained in um, in Melbourne. Okay. And so obviously, when you get a drug test, they have to follow you around, do everything with. And when you. they follow them, they, they watch them do everything. By the way, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know this either. So. Yeah, they're pretty strict. Once they've notified you, they're with you until you provide your sample. Um, I don't know if you've ever talked about it before, but when you, so you're pissing into the toilet. Peeing. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to have your pants below your knees. Really? Yeah, and your right. shirt above your There's nipples. There's a criteria to this. Yeah. It's yeah. like legit. You've got to put, you got to pull your shirt up above your nipples, your pants below your really? knees. Really? Yeah. To show that it's like, there's no yeah. um, fake penis <laughs> with, um, a tube attached to anything. And they stand like half and, a metre away. And just look at you like that. So, so they can see the stream coming out of your Yeah, floor. they need to watch the stream pass from your body into wow. the cup. I think it's way worse for girls. They obviously have to hover above the toilet. <laughs> With a cup underneath. <laughs> With a cup underneath. It's vicious. Wow. Anyway. The shirt, the shirt's out, the of, out of yeah. control. Yeah, it feels like you're, it feels like you're three years old again, pulling your pants down <laughs> yeah, yeah, to, like a little to take a pee, yeah. Or yeah. Um, anyway, so there's this session and I just, I really need to do a shit. <laughs> and it was like, I have got, I, you know, you, if you've got to do number two, you can't piss go, at the same go, time. Go. You're like, you have to, and I'm just said to the drug tester, I'm sorry, mate, I <laughs> really need to do a shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're gonna have to just watch me. <laughs> how how did they take it? What was their face like? Well, he wasn't that. Didn't no, seem that happy. I, I think he tried to that. put on a good face, but you know, it's a, was it kind of like this? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It comes with the with the job. Like, I think that's well, just a risk. It would happen, take. wouldn't it? With the volunteer. Position. Yeah. With the yeah. Sure they have a few stories of volunteers. I'm sure it. there's plenty worse than that. But so when you said about fake penis, has that actually happened? Has oh people yeah, people, yeah, people have been caught with like. Um, like a, a bag full of like clean urine, like attached, like oh, hidden, and, a, and like a tube, a tube that like tube runs along. Like, yeah, the lengths, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a demonstration? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So that was. I, yeah, I was a bit worried. That I didn't know where you were going with the toilet story. Well, yeah, it sounds like there's a few. Drop of the phone into the toilet. That was a. Oh, oh no, that was very That was that. A, that was the last um, swimming trip. Kyle was on there. You did it. You dropped it in. I reckon, we were, did we have a nap? We, we were just about to have a nap, and I was doing, doing a piss. <laughs> wee wee. I've got a phone ring around my, or like one of those rings, so I had my finger locked into that. And it came undone and just dropped straight into the toilet. Oh, no. <laughs> so, that was Gone. Gone. No, no, it's all good, I gave okay. it a bit of a dry. <laughs> right. Still use bit it. of a sanitise. Bit of a sanitise, yeah. Laugh. Me and Trav had a good laugh, you just hear clonk. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting in bed, we are just about to have a nap, and I hear, hear the pain, and then... Ka-plunk. I was like, what was that? <laughs> oh no, I just got my phone in the toilet. <laughs> Nothing worse. Nothing worse. Well, you need your little drawing. Have you seen this? I'm not. I, now, I'll have to show you a drawing. I did, um. We've been practicing. Yeah, went on, uh, went for like a dinner party, I think it's like the other week. Uh, who am I drawing? Myself? Yes. So you can draw lads if you wanted to. You can, um, you can get on your phone and, and get a photo. Yeah, oh, copy phone photo. Yeah, I've got their phone with uh, them. Yeah. yeah. Just a bit of a reference. Um, yeah, with the SPS they did a life drawing and it was like a two hour special and you, as you went along there's people in the studio that did um, like new drawing. Like models and, and models. Yeah, and then um, so we're all at this dinner party and we all so like did a watch along and then drew. I'll have to show you my drawings. I was pretty happy with it. It was just in six minutes. It's, yeah, it's, right. I, I well, thought got I, five minutes. I thought I was so. a terrible. Like I thought no chance I'll be able to draw. At so all. what you're gonna do is put your name up here. Yeah. Your picture and then you sign it. All right, easy. I like the picture you've chosen. From Games 2018. Yeah, but, um, and it's Marnie, everyone, not Mahoney. <laughs> yeah, so you're... Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> good, man. That's there really we go. Good. That is excellent. I'll tell you what, that's very impressive. Thank you. Was... Yeah, now I have to get my phone stuff. and show you my... Uh... Jack, I think he's knocked you off the park. I think this is the best one. Number one drawer. Made some plates. Well, Travis, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we want to say a big, big thank you to Animalistic Body Art. Without them, this wouldn't be happening. 
few of my social, Ricegram, Ricey, the great photographer, and Maddie for always helping us out. Um, we've been having heaps of fun. We've got some big names on the way, so um, we'll keep this one going. Thank you so much, mate. That was a fun one. Thank you. Thank See you, you Travis. <laughs> Left-handed. Boom. <laughs>